Today we're going to be talking about the in no way controversial topic of censorship and westernization of Lost Ark. Oh good. I'm already anticipating a bunch of comments saying things like, imagine caring about this at all. That's not really an argument. It's basically you just saying, I don't personally care about this subject, which is totally understandable. Hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have explained this subject in a yeah. way that you can at least understand why people care about this so much. As I, I've always, I never really understood the logic behind why do you care about this? It's such a minor thing. Because couldn't you just apply that same exact logic to the developers? Why would you care about this? It's such a minor thing. Why are you changing it? Uh, it's like, if you're making the argument of who gives a fuck, I'm sorry, but it's a video game, so who gives a fuck? The entire conversation is is moot. So it's, it's a throwaway argument that morons use because they can't argue their position. What censorship is in the game, we don't actually have a lot of details about that, and what we do know is pretty conflicting. For one, the starting outfits that you can preview during character customization have been replaced with far more modest clothing, and some okay. of the starting outfits that you begin the game wearing have been changed as well. The martial artist seems to have just given you begin the Let me see, so yeah, that does seem quite different. ...game wearing have been changed as well. The martial artist seems to have just given up on kung fu and is doing her best assassin. See, like, this, this one, I think, if this is martial artist, doesn't really make sense because this is clearly based around Chun-Li to a certain extent, right? And you're gonna get rid of that? I mean, come on. ...and cosplay now. Are those legs in my M-rated video game? <laughs> the community manager, Rox, who is a super nice person, by the way, she seems really passionate about the game, has gone on record to say that those missing preview outfits from the character creation screen are still in the game as white armor drops. But to my knowledge, nobody's been able to verify this so far. At least from what I understand, no one was able to find any of those outfits during the beta, so I guess we'll have to see what the deal is there when the full game releases. Okay. Kind of related, the outfits that you get for purchasing the Founders Pack were shown off pretty recently. Oh, that one's fucking badass, dude. That one is, uh, uh, yo, straight up, like, that shit's fucking cool. In it, you can see that the Summoner is wearing some kind of weird metal chastity belt type deal to oh, cover good. up those evil thighs of hers. This is actually her reveal outfit, which you can see in the trailer here. She doesn't have that weird metal belt on. Yeah. Rox again said that this isn't going to be censored in the actual game and is just being censored in the marketing material, which is nice, but what? kind of brings up another problem of what you're seeing versus what you're getting with your $100 purchase, but what? whatever. In Why? some brighter news for the anti-censorship folks, there were, I believe, two NPCs in the game that you can get level 5 affinity with, which rewards you with a short little cutscene where you kind of get to go on a date with them, and then you get some implied sexy times. Okay. There's nothing graphic in these cutscenes, like it doesn't actually show anything. But, but these affinity tiers were missing from the Western version of the game, and a lot of people assumed censorship. Rox clarified that these were intended to be in the game at launch, but were missing due to a known issue. That, that's fine, yeah. This page is blank. I think the yeah, people that okay. are against this supposed censorship belong in one of two camps. The first camp, which I'm a part of, Coomers. is just anti-censorship in all regards. Censorship sucks, and that's really it. I don't want any creator to feel the need to remove or modify any piece of their work just so it can appeal to a wider audience. All that really does yeah. is just lead to more samey, safe garbage. I, as an adult, should have the freedom to engage with any content I want to. Remember, uh, like I, I hate this kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's the same thing you see happen with like movies and like other content, etc. Uh, it, it's people taking these like weird uh, fringe ideologies of oh well you can't have a woman in uh, you know uh, skimpy clothing in the game because it, it makes a handful of people that are probably fucked up already unhappy. Uh, it, number one, I think that like if you look at the games, this is just one one little bit of an example here. Is if like Final Fantasy has a million skimpy fucking outfits and tons of girls play it. It's the same thing with Lost Ark. So the ironic thing is that the games that have the more skimpy outfits and the games that are more revealing actually have a higher ratio of female players than the ones that aren't. Look at New World. Like there's no Coomer outfits in New World. The fuck no. 
and it's played by a bunch of fucking balding boomer men with gray beards. That's it, there's no girls playing that game, hardly at all. I see only guys playing. I never hear a girl on the mic. Compare that to Final Fantasy, there's girls everywhere. This is the truth, man. It, it, it's, it's a small amount of people that are insecure. It makes them uncomfortable because they're basically Puritans. It, it, it's super cringe to me. Uh, Sony censors Japanese games, but leaves sex in their own games. I don't know about that. I have no idea. It's because the devs want to make the highest possible amount of revenue, so they curtail the puritanical audience. But they don't make the highest amount of revenue. Remember, like, the, the fucking Resident Evil game with the tall vampire lady, and everybody wanted to play the game, was talking about the game because of her? Like, Coomer content, there's a reason like why, like, porn fucking decides the fate of, like, technology with videography. Porn is a leading reason why you have a ton of different videography techniques and a ton of different quality options online. It's because porn did it first. So th to be like, oh, this is only a small amount of people. No, it's fucking not. A lot of people like it. It's the old thing, sex sells. And the only people that don't like this, I think, are people people that are bringing in their own personal trauma they're bringing in their own personal problems their ideology into the game and they're trying to make the entire world conform around the way that they see things and more importantly the way that they see themselves it's their own insecurities yes they're uncomfortable with their sexuality they're uncomfortable with sexuality in general and, and it, it also, in America, we have a history of being prudes. Like, let's be honest, okay? We really fucking do. We've, we've had the, uh, uh, the, the witch trials, the McCarthyism, uh, the Jesus shit that was back in, like, the 90s and the 2000s. Like, America has such a bad fucking reputation with this and such a bad track record with just unnecessary puritanical bullshit. So it's not even necessarily a PC thing or a liberal fucking progressive thing or anything weird like that. This is just an America problem in general. And it's been a problem forever. It's conservatism. It will, it, it's the effect. There's people on both sides that think this, right? There's people that don't want to see women be objectified. And there's people that don't want to see women shown that way because they think that they are, you know, it's like, that they're it's bad right like so both 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 sides unironically in my opinion are stupid yeah it's 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 puritanism one way or another lost ark is an m-rated video game i really like the goal someone said you don't have a daughter you don't understand that's not how we make decisions in 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 the world here i'll give you an example if you are personally affected by something it's like a, uh, you don't have people that are hurt in a lawsuit. Like, let's say you hit somebody, you, you run somebody over. You don't put the people's family who you, who you, the person who you ran over, you don't put that person's family on the jury because they're not going to make an objective good decision. I don't give a fuck about what you think your arbitrary gatekeeping mechanism for allowing people to make decisions is. It's even more the point that you should make a decision objectively without looking at it from your own personal worldview. Nobody's thinking about your daughter whenever they're playing Lost Ark. It's a completely different fucking thing. It's not only is it patronizing, but it's also gatekeeping. It's ridiculous. People are fucking delusional. Well, no, it's not that people are delusional. People want to create a situation where they are the only people who are able to have an, have an opinion on things. So, th so they create a criteria for something, and then they say, unless people meet this criteria for something, then they can't have an opinion about it. Even though the criteria for it is, is arbitrary to a large extent. And on top of that, then they assume that anybody who did meet that criteria will think the same as they do. That's what people do all the time. And, and no, I, I'm not going to allow my opinion to be discarded because I... I I, I don't have a kid. Like, it's so weird. Like, like it doesn't affect me. You know they have daughters in uh, Korea, too, right? Like, people, they, they have uh, they have females there, too. Like, people have kids there, and it's it's fine. It's just, it's it's creepy and weird, honestly. We're in Lost Ark. I think it adds a lot to the visual flair of the game, and it makes all the combat feel a lot more visceral. If that was removed in its entirety, I feel like a lot of people who don't really care about the loot stuff being censored might be up in arms then. Another hypothetical yeah. would be the PvP mode. 
I like the PvP in Lost Ark a lot, but I don't really have any plans to play the ranked mode. I'm just not that kind of guy. But if I heard that some stupid change was coming to the ranked PvP mode, I would gladly stand with the rest of the community in trying to get that fixed. I don't want any features stripped down Depends or removed from is. the game just because it might be something that I personally don't care about. None of yeah. this would be a big deal if they just added a toggle for the loot outfits or the gore or whatever, but that never happens. Censorship is telling a man that he can't have a steak just because a baby can't chew it. That's Mark Twain. He and I are good friends. He hasn't texted me back, though, in, like, at least 100 years. Now, the second camp of anti-censorship folk are people that are just Coomers. a little more honest about their primal urges. And guess what? Yeah. Uh, I'm also a part of that camp, so yeah. I bet you didn't see that coming. You're telling me I'm not supposed to have my mind getting, like, electrocuted when I see the garter belt action that Gunslinger's got going on? Yeah, it's great. Oh, I'm so stoic of a man that this has no effect on me. Yeah, right. As for the westernization part, this is a little more cut and dry. A lot of the NPCs have had their skin color changed in what is the lamest attempt at diversification that I've seen in a while. These look pretty terrible, and I don't know why development time was wasted on something this trivial. I don't think the it would card take that art much for time. these have been changed as well, and it looks like someone just colored over them in Microsoft Paint or something. There's like some cartoony effect going on with some of them because they did such a terrible job of like painting over their skin. They're I'll be okay with this one because I made her boobs bigger. But the other ones, like I, I don't really care a whole lot about this because I think that games to some degree are going to be a, it's going to be a reflection of, of the people that are making it in, in that culture, right? It's just kind of what makes sense. I don't really care about this as much uh, unless you're changing like core elements of the character. So it's like if I was playing a game that was in like Africa, I would assume that most of the people in the game would probably be black. You know, if I'm playing a game that's in Korea, I would assume that most of the people in the game would probably be Korean. And if I'm playing a game in NA, I would assume that they would be a much more diverse because the country is much more diverse. You know, it, it that, that kind of makes sense. It's the same thing as like they have a. Uh, like, you know, like the meme of like Jesus being like actually a brown guy or whatever. And, you know, all of the dumb, like racist Americans worshiping a white Jesus and he didn't exist. Right. You guys, we, we've seen this, right? There are many pictures in China and in other Asian countries. Guess what Jesus is? He's Chinese. It's Chinese Jesus. Okay. Like, yeah, it, it's this is just what people do because they want to have their media represent them. Uh, exactly. Yeah, that's just I, I <laughs> take that back. It, it's for real, man. I'm I'm being honest. Yeah, the same shit happens. Like it, it's it's more personal to them. Same with Indian and Chinese versions of Buddha. Yeah. There's a way worse offender than these though, and those of you with weak constitutions may want to look away. Here's a quick before and after picture of my queen. And before you say yeah. anything, if you think these changes are stupid or if you think they look pretty bad, well, bad news. You're a racist. I don't really understand the point in these changes. There are already a variety of skin colors present in Lost Ark to begin with. And apparently Smilegate has gone on record to say that they're wanting to put an African region in the game. It's also weird that the West is like the only place that needs these kind of changes to feel more at home. I've been playing on the Russian version of Lost Ark for God knows how long, and I haven't well, seen- That's because Russia, Russia don't give a fuck. Russia doesn't give a fuck. Korea doesn't give a fuck. The only people that really give a fuck about this are people in North America and Europe. Like, and even most people in Europe don't give a fuck either. Uh, in the entire rest of the world, uh, they are completely open about it, uh, about just being basically like, we only want people from our culture, we want content for our culture, and th that's about it. Uh, I, I think it's, I don't know a lot about the Middle East culture outside of like Islam, etc. So I'm not sure how they feel, but I would probably assume it's about the same. Don't bring EU into Cal- Nah, bro, the EU has the same shit happening too, okay? I don't want to hear about it. I don't, I don't say, it's say your country, but I think the EU has been infected with this to a degree as well. Okay, but this is mainly something that 
uh, North American audiences and some places, does that make you feel better? Some places in Europe care about altering source material to meet uh, the, the ideologies of where where it is. No, I'm from Europe. I just want to play the game. What's going on? It doesn't really matter. Like, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Uh, it's coming to universities already? I don't know about that. I have no idea. I haven't been in a university for a long fucking time, man. I mean, a problem with darker skin representation is kind of sus. I don't think I don't think most people really have a problem with that. I think that people just don't want to see things changed from the, the source material. I think it's literally that simple. They don't want to see things change from what the source material is. They want to play the same game, they want to do the same thing, and they don't want to see things changed. And if things get changed, then it's like, when does this stop? And some people get nervous about that. That's all there is to it. I have a problem with it being badly done. It's insulting. I think it is. They certainly need to do a better job with it for sure. In AK-47, one time. I've always felt like you should go into these things with certain expectations. <laughs> Like, I knew that Lost Ark was a Korean MMO, so I knew that there were going to be some edgy pretty boys in the game that I was supposed to be, like, super terrified of. I don't know why the West should expect a Korean MMO to be representative of the diversity and skin colors that you see in the West. You know, the second I booted up Yakuza 0, the only thing that was going through my mind was, Where are the white people? Where are the white people? Another issue is they've replaced a lot of the faces available in the character creation with more Western options instead of just adding those as more options, which understand- I don't know why you'd replace them. Like, why wouldn't you just add them? That's like, that's what makes sense. In my opinion, this is what I've always said, right? Is that they should make it to where you can play as a character that kind of looks like you because this is just the way that I am, right? I play these RPGs as a self-insert. I make a character that kind of looks like me or looks like my idealized version of myself. And I think if you're a black guy, you're gonna probably wanna do the same thing, or at least there's a lot of black guys out there that probably do the same thing. Same with Hispanic or, or Asian or anything like that. So a lot of guys do this, a lot of girls do this. And I think giving the extra skin options is nothing. It doesn't really matter. It just makes it easier for them to do it. It's the same as like, I don't like playing female characters in video games. I like playing a male character because I view the character as like myself in the universe and I'm not a girl and being a male and is like a core element of who I am. And so, yeah, that's, that's the way I feel about it. Uh, obviously there's some people that don't look at it that way. They play something that's completely fucking different. And that's fine, but there's enough people that I think think like I do to where I don't think having the extra options is really that bad. Yeah, I don't care, but I don't see why replace. Why Why the fuck would you replace them? Just make other ones. Lee has a lot of people upset since you're not going to be able well, to make some of skins. those faces yeah, exactly. in the Western version of the game with the tools that we have. You can slightly modify each of these bases, but it's not like Black Desert Online tier where you can change everything. So you can't really make a lot of those missing presets. Those missing faces could just be a bug or something that was missing in the beta. But after a while of waiting, Seawolf, yeah. another community manager, has been unable to find out for sure. So we don't really know for now. So I believe that's everything we know so far. Thank you for sticking around if you made it this far. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about this kind of stuff. I read every comment and I cry very easily. So please be careful. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I think it's another reason why uh, it's like one of the subtext reasons why a lot of people moved over from uh, World of Warcraft to Final Fantasy is that a lot of people uh, this this guy is kind of a uh, he, he's a new content creator. He's only got 126 subs. So I'm going to link you guys to video so you can maybe give him a sub or give him a like, give him a little bit of feedback uh, one way or another. And uh, the reason why is because. I, I think that there's a large amount of an audience and this is like I, I'm part of this audience too uh, I don't want to feel patronized or talked down to in a narrative or a, in a game and in my opinion like whenever they change NPCs in WoW and they remove paintings in WoW I feel patronized uh, I, I feel like I am being looked down on and that's a big reason why I think a lot of people probably as a subtext reason big subtext reason why people moved over to Final Fantasy because Final Fantasy 
while it does cover big issues like refugees and, and different types of like ingrained uh, class class conflicts like in Alda and Alamigo, right? It covers a lot of issues, but it doesn't caricature them in a way that it's just a completely one-sided perspective where the, you know, the, the good guy is good all the time and the bad guy is bad all the time. Uh, it takes a, uh, a respectful approach to the situation rather than a preachy approach to the situation that I think puts a lot of people off. So that's, I think, another big reason why a lot of people lost interest with like things like WoW and stuff. Because whenever you know that there is, it has nuance, yeah, whenever you know that it has those kinds of features in it, it has that kind of stuff in it, you become much less, uh, it, it, like, you realize that you're not playing a fantasy world anymore, right? Because now you realize that your fantasy world exists in the context of these, like, modern day, like, political opinions that I think are not even shared by 20% of the population, 10% of the population. So whenever you see that in the game and you see it being represented in the game and changed in the game, it will, uh, it, it takes you out of that immersion. It takes the escapism away. Like people don't want to play a video game that condescends to them about like who they're voting for in real life or what their, uh, their opinions on X or Y thing is in real life. Nobody wants to do that in a fantasy game. It's not that there's a, I think that you have games, like a great example of this is like Detroit Become Human. I haven't played the whole thing. I played a small bit of it, right? But of course it covers like real life issues. Uh, yeah, it, it seems like it does like uh, with like a AI and shit like that. But I think it's the way that it, it's covered as well. Not even that it's like covered, but it's covered respectfully and it's covered in a way that makes sense. Yeah, and, and so that way the escapism works. But I think that what people... This is what I, I really don't like is whenever people take an existing IP and then they change it in a way to fit their sensibilities or their sensitivities. That's what I don't like. Uh, you know, keep make a new IP if you want to do that. M make new content if you want to do that. Don't take over old content and then try to change and edit it to where it's the same as it used to be. Yeah, that, that's what I don't like. So it's just a game people don't give a fuck. Yeah, most people don't care about this stuff. I would say, like, the people that care about this stuff are less than probably 10, 20% of the population. Probably a lot less, to be honest with you. The amount of people that are going to play the game in Lost Ark that, that care about this, uh, that, that think this is a problem, 1%. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. So I actually saw here, let's read what some of the comments here are. As far as I know, yeah, they gave a clear answer to this topic. There have been many threads, so this, is, this was stated by a developer on Twitter. Uh, or somebody that works on Lost Ark on, not Twitter, why am I saying Twitter, on the forums. And uh, I'll read what they said. Many threads on a topic, but I'll cross post over here. Default starting outfits for player characters are not as revealing as those in other regions. However, the original and more revealing starting outfits can be found in the game as low level white drops as soon as you begin playing. As I said before, I think this is stupid. I don't think anybody cares about this or wants this. Uh, this is something that's being done probably because of people that have an agenda to push who work in the office of this game. Uh, the actual people playing the game do not care about this. This is irrelevant to them. And it's just a niche ideology that's being pushed as if it's a, uh, a legitimate problem. But the truth is nobody gives a fuck about it except for the people that are probably making the decision. Wasted dev time. Yeah, just wasted time. Uh, currently, Sorcerer's Founder Pack uh, skin looks different on the website, doesn't game. An issue with the model that was rendered for assets being fixed. Okay, it's being fixed. There we go. Any other outfits available in the game have not been changed or altered. There are more options for less revealing options, but this is not an indicator of others being removed. Oh, so you're just saying there's less, there are more less revealing options. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Amazon publishes the game in the West. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Do people think that's sexist? Yeah, there are a lot of, uh, a lot, it's a very common idea that uh, women being portrayed in sexual ways is, uh, it makes them less of people, which I I've never really agreed on this. I think it's silly, personally, uh, but this is what, uh, this is what people think nowadays. Let me get a drink. It's sexist. Yeah, sexy isn't sexist. I don't think it is either. Must portray men, too. It's a win-win situation. Looks in the, the guys in Lost Ark are good-looking guys, all right? Like, I made my guy look like a fucking Giga Chad. Yeah, you, you're gonna have no problem with that, too. I'm gonna even it up, more Conan-style warriors, yeah. I love that, I think that's awesome. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Sexy men aren't sexist, it's double standards. Well, the society has double standards. 
Like, you can't tell me that, like, women in society aren't judged much more harshly and much more uh, intently, intensely on their appearance than a man. Like, w women are judged and, and valued on their appearance much more than men are. But men are also valued and judged on their appearance, too. It's just not as much. Yeah, by other women, though? Uh, yeah, w women and men, it, it's it's both. But no, you're right, like, women hold each other to the standards, too. Like, if you ever watch, like, I, I've, I've seen, like, whenever I was dating Izzy, like, I would be paying attention to, like, these beauty drama things, and these girls on the comments would just be fucking savage. Like, ah, girl, look at your face. Oh my god, is that a new wrinkle? Wow. Aren't you only 24? Jeez. It's like, yeah. Like, just this straight up fucking nasty, vicious shit. You're right. It's mostly not even guys doing it. I wouldn't say mostly. I think it depends, right? But in many cases, it's not guys doing it. That's because girls' parents is more valuable. Yeah, I mean, sure. That's just the way our society works. And if you want to re rewrite the rules of society or whatever, go on ahead. But um, nobody's going to give a fuck. People are still going to do the same stuff. I mean, on social media, savage as fuck. Yeah, so are men, too. That's why they termed internalized misogyny since guys made beauty such a huge standard. Now women react to that standard. Nah, people just say that in order to blame it on men whenever women do something wrong. It's, it's, just, it's a stupid fucking term. Like, there are plenty of women. It's the same as guys. Is it internalized misogyny whenever one guy calls another guy skinny or he calls him a loser? No, it's not. Guys do the same thing to each other, too. Like, I've gotten more insults about my appearance from men than women. It's mostly, yeah, skinny fat. Like, all these other ones, right? Yeah, a hundred fucking percent. Is that internalized misandry? No, it's not. It's just people looking for a way to tear each other down. That's it, bald, yeah. Yeah, exactly, man. We're just busting each other's balls. Um, I, I think it's disingenuous. Isn't it a little disingenuous? Like, I, I listen, I get the busting each other's balls. That's totally fine. You know, it is what it is. It's just for fun, right? But there's a lot of people that aren't doing it for fun. They're doing it because they have genuine bad intentions and, and they're just like asshole people. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're just fucking asshole people. They're more socially accepted for men, though, being assholes a bit. Yeah, it, it's more socially acceptable to be, uh, to be critical of a man's appearance uh, than a woman's because uh, men aren't judged as much on their appearance as as much as, as women are. That's just it's the way it's the way it goes. Like as I said, I I'm not saying. Uh, by the way, I'm not saying that like this is how it should be. I'm just saying this is what it is, man. This is just, just it's just what it is. And sales molding again. Well, that's because the problem with like having a conversation about this is that if you want to have an honest conversation about it, you're going to make both extremist sides mad, because both extremist sides are probably fucking delusional and they spend all their time on Twitter self-radicalizing themselves and making up new vocabulary that they can blame the world for not not knowing about and then that th it's like you're you just remove yourself more and more and more and more and more from reality it's the same thing at, with like the the incels too the incels do the exact same fucking shit like all of the terms that like incels and like the pickup artist community has for women it's crazy, man. Like, I hate that shit. Yeah, echo chamber Andes. Don't make it political chat, please. It's not about political stuff. Like, obviously, you guys have to understand that uh, you guys, I guess maybe a lot of y'all are maybe younger or you don't remember. But like, am I the only person who remembers back in the early 2000s where you had every single uh, Republican and right wing senator talking about banning Grand Theft Auto? Uh, this is not censoring video games based off of uh, political ideologies or, uh, you know, social expectations. This is not something that's new. It's not something that any side of the political spectrum has a monopoly over. It happens all the fucking time, and it's stupid pretty much every single time. Christian moms, yeah. Forcing political agendas in video games is so cringe. True and real. That wasn't just Republicans. No, it wasn't just Republicans, but it was mostly Republicans. Come on, man. Like... Do we really have to fucking pretend like it doesn't have to be every single person? It was mostly Republicans. Come on. This, yeah, you just missed the point. All I'm saying is that people all over want to do this. Political spectrum tribalists. It's crazy. Harry Potter is Satanism. Yeah, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, there were a lot of, uh, of, of fucking uh, uh, church moms who were upset about Harry Potter, too. I forgot about that, but that was, that was in like fourth or third or fourth or fifth grade or so. Yeah, they were not happy about that at all. Pokemon being pocket monsters, remember that? I remember I got a I got a letter from the school 
uh, I had to give to my mom about Pokemon being pocket monsters. Yeah, I mean, it, this is a legit thing, man. Think of the children. Yeah, there you go.